Well, I've been in the health and fitness fields for many, many years all of my life and I saw what they were doing here at Transformations and I feel the Lord led me here to work with people and help people because that's all I've been doing all my life and it gives me a sense of good will and good feeling of what I'm doing here. I would say in John chapter 5, um, a lot of people when you come into treatment you'd think, okay, they're, someone's coming into a 30-day treatment center, they are admitting defeat. But that's far from the case most of the time. Um, people are coming in and they're, they're pretty ambivalent. You know, they're here, part of them wants to get better, part of them doesn't. Um, in John chapter 5, there's a paralytic man that Jesus approaches laying by the pool of Bethesda and um, he asked the man, do you want to get well? So the, guy, the man starts giving him, well, you know, I've always lain here and people are always in front of me and then no one can go down. He starts giving Jesus all kinds of excuses and Jesus is having none of it. And he says, get up. Get up and take your mat. And the man gets up and walks away and he's healed. And that is so much of what treatment is about, is education, detox, and getting through ambivalence, is to say, uh, you know, I've got all these reasons, all these reasons why it's hard for me to get sober, why I'm the way I am. And in a very compassionate way, you're saying, okay, get up. You know, at the end of the day, they're the one that has to decide to get up. You know, we can give them all the tools, we can give them everything, I can't recover for anybody. You know, it's, it's going to be up to them to get up once, you know, you get to that point with them.